Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into a new deck on my main Chief Pat account in Clash Royale that I've been seeing all over the leaderboards. I played against it inside of a couple of challenges too, and it seems really fun, and it's going to be an Elixir Collector 3 Musketeers deck that seems to do pretty well against certain decks inside of this meta. Now, obviously, it struggles against the Rocket since you have the Elixir Collector and the 3 Musketeers, but if they play their Rocket, you can play one or the other and turn it into a crazy push. So I'm going to go ahead and start up a couple of battles. Keep in mind, this is my first time playing this deck but i've played against it a couple of times to where i know a little bit about it and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can use it to push up the leaderboards now it's been a while since i've pushed on the leaderboards uh, which means that we're going to be playing probably some lower levels in the very beginning as we push our way up to a uh, master but let's start with our three musketeers over here see if he wants to counter with anything i'll play a miner onto his elixir collector just so we can help out a bit He's going to predict wrong. Again, I tell you guys every single time, play your miner below the Elixir Collector when they do it in that placement. And my Ice Spirit actually is going to live through his log. That has to be a little bit disappointing. And we're going to go ahead and crush that tower down pretty low for a good little first push of the game. Okay, so meanwhile, his archers are going to get skeleton down. I haven't even played my Elixir Collector yet. And we'll see what he's going to do if we end up playing it. He's going to play his own Elixir Collector. So let's just go home mano y mano. And since I don't have my miner... Who knows how we want to get this one done. Okay, so not a bad start to the game. We got some good damage on that right-hand tower. The, the left-hand tower actually took a chunk as well from the three musketeers, the one musketeer that went down that side. So let's go ahead and get ready. He's going to play his golem. I'll play my miner. I'm tempted to log since he, know, he knows where my, my miner is going to go. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I'm going to play the miner on that side. So let's get ready to deal with whatever he's got coming our way. And I'll play the Minion Horde, but I don't feel good about it. I'm going to play it, but I don't feel good about it. Sort of like what people say when they play one of those cards that uh, that are looked down upon in the community. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play the Ice Spirit. The Minion's going to do the best that it can. I'll have to play a Knight to make sure this Minion doesn't crush our tower. But in the end, pretty good little push for us. Let's play an Elixir Collector. He's going to play his Elixir Collector. Let's see if he learned from that first Miner that we played. Oh, he actually has Elite Barbarians. Okay. This just made everything a little bit more interesting. I'm going to play these Skeletons, and then I'll play the Minion Horde, and then I'll play my Ice Spirits to stop this push. I knew he was going to zap me, so that's why I played that Ice Spirit to help out just a bit. Minions will die, and in the end, we made pr off pretty well from that. Okay, let's get to Double Elixir. Now, Double Elixir, we've got the Three Musketeers. He doesn't have, like, a direct counter to the Three Musketeers either. I'm going to play the Miner on the top, by the way to deal with his collector still he's gonna miss with his archers that's really good for us let's get ready with our three musketeers right here we're even oh we got close to getting a hit onto those archers and uh, now depending on what he follows up with is he gonna play like elite barbarians okay he is gonna play elite barbarians so let's use everything we have right here to stop these elite barbarians in their tracks and uh, hopefully we can stay alive now miner is gonna go down on the top i want to make sure that i'm getting something out of uh all of this aggression that he's playing onto us Miner's gonna take that tower down fairly low and since we don't have poison or really like any direct damage besides the log, we're just going to keep splitting things up. And depending on what he's going to do, let's do our skeletons over here, by the way. Skeletons predicting predicting those elite barbarians. Even with that zap spell, check it out. Miner's going to lock onto the tower. There's almost nothing he can do except for distract these minions. The musketeers, the miner, everything's going to lock onto that tower. And that's going to be the end of the game for our first win using this deck. Pretty fun time using this deck. Obviously, Carter was at a little bit of a disadvantage right there, but that's going to be 30 trophies and a silver chest. And let's go ahead and open up our crown chest before getting to the next battle. All right, we're going to get gems, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we didn't even get an epic card, which... I know I'm a little bit greedy after opening up all those bandit chests, but let's get to another battle and see if this works out a little bit better. All right, Quinn S is going to be our next opponent. And how are we going to want to take him on? Well, that's a good question. I don't have really anything to start off with, so I'm going to play the knight. He's going to do his archers. That's going to be a pretty standard little split right there. I'll split my three musketeers in the back, and maybe we can make something out of this. Depending on if he has, like, the lightning spell, if he has the zap. He has a poison spell, which, honestly, that's going to work even better. He's going to get some good value out of that poison. Elite barbarians are going to drop. Hmm. I'll go ahead and play my skeletons. I'll play my ice spirit. This should be enough to stop these elite barbarians in their tracks just in time. And now that the Musketeer's doing a good job, I'll play my Miner. Hopefully that Miner's not too late. Miner's going to go down just in the nick of time, and that's going to give my uh, Musketeer a little bit of time. You know what? Let's play a Minion Horde. Let's play a Minion Horde. Why not? Play a Minion Horde. He's going to have to do arrows or something against it. And the Miner's going to get so close. There's the arrows. Okay. Well, not too shabby in the end. We're going to have 1,000 HP off his tower. Let's see where we want to go from here. Hmm. With the Poison Spell, that means the Elixir Collector is going to be obviously an easy target. So... 
Who knows how I want to play that. He's going to play his own Elixir Collector. So I'm going to play this in the bottom left. But I can't really play my three Musketeers near my Collector or he's going to get some insane value right there. So I'm going to let him pump it up. I don't have my Miner, so I can't, I can't interrupt his pump. And with his archers, how is he going to want to get this done? All right, I'll play my skeletons. I will play my knights. I will play these. I will play that. I'm going to play my miner over here. He's going to play his poison spell. That's not going to be able to do really anything. His elite barbarian is pretty distracted right there. My miner did end up taking out that elixir collector. So now we have a nice elixir lead, guys. He went so aggressive with that push that we are in... A pretty good place. I'll play my minion horde, even though he's probably just going to arrow it instantly. We're still going to take that royal giant to really low health before that ends up happening. Skeleton army, elite barbarians plus uh, royal giant. That is an aggressive deck if I've ever seen one. And now let's get ready to try to finish this one off. All right, here goes the musketeer. Musketeer's going down. He's dropping a good game because I think he realizes that he's at such an elixir disadvantage. I don't think he's saying that to to bm me thinking that he wins he's probably gonna play elite barbarians so there goes our log spell predicting those elite barbarians so clutch the logs gonna go down musketeers are going crazy his logs gonna do work but guys i think this is basically the end of the game musketeers gonna lock on to that tower and unless he can uh, royal giant us to death that's gonna be game all right knight is here i'm just gonna play my three musketeers i think he he, he gave up he's gonna say good game let's play our ice spirit in case he drops anything but those three musketeers are gonna crush that tower down to zero and uh, that should be the end of it i'm gonna play everything i've got okay maybe i shouldn't have gone so crazy to end this game because there's still a chance that he could three crown me before it's over but i think those chances are pretty minimal let's play our log let's play everything we've got minor plus the minions are crushing that tower i should have just gone for the three crown that's going to be the end of it another win using this deck oh we almost got the three crown i shouldn't have defended feels bad man anyways that'll be a nice another little victory right there pushing up to master and i feel like we're getting pretty close we're at 4789 which means we only need about 111 more trophies one more one or one 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 let's open up this chest and get into another battle using this deck this deck's been really good for us it's been holding it down uh, obviously i still have a lot to learn about it i feel like going against certain types of decks i'll probably be in a lot of trouble but let's go against mad king 27 and i'm gonna play my elixir collector right here okay how do we want to do this? He's, he'll do a skeleton. He's going to play his ice spirits. Hmm. What could I be facing? A fireball? Interesting. I'll take that fireball damage. And when they play the fireball, that means you can play your three musketeers and not be worried about too much else. Unless he has like a rocket or something. That would be unfortunate. But now we've got a very nice start to this game. He's going to musketeer that side. Huh. I'll play my knight. I'll play the miner. I will play the ice spirit. And now we've got a deadly push running towards him he's gonna play his his miner and then everything else. i'm gonna log him down oh log's gonna hit that ice spirit that should be the end of tower number one or at least somewhat close with the miner and the knight beating it down miner's gonna do some good work right here guys the level five miner is brutal 90 hp per hit this tower's gonna get so low to going down okay it's in log range i believe or maybe just outside of log range Let's get ready with another Elixir Collector and see if he dares to fireball it again, because obviously it did not work out so well for him right there. Okay, skeletons are going down to deal with this Hog Rider. What is he going to do? Zap? Arrows? Or nothing? We'll take two hits right there. Make a three Elixir positive trade. I've got my, my Musketeers ready again in a moment. And let's see what he's going to... He just keeps cycling. This is such a strange cycle deck. Okay, he can fireball those. That's fair. I'll give you that. I'll give you that fireball. He's going to also kill my musketeer. That's also fair. I'm not saying I like it, but I'll say it's fair. He's going to play he's going to play that again. What did he play against my minion horde last time? Or has he even played anything against my minion horde? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and play my miner to kill that side. I'll play the minion horde. He hasn't really done too much to deal with it. Skeletons are going to go down. Don't have to deal with those. And now we are making our way to the other side of the map. Tower number 1 has gone down to our miner. He has to ice spirit down these minions. And uh, let's get ready with our three musketeers again and split those straight down the middle. And maybe we're going to be able to knock him down. Okay, so fireball log. That's really his only combination to deal with our uh, three musketeers. I'm tempted to go for something crazy on the other side. But instead, I played a, I played our pump at a pretty inopportune moment, if I do say so myself. Let's do these skeletons, which are going to get blasted. He's going to end up actually damaging this tower pretty low. It might actually go down. And perhaps I shouldn't have been such a bozo when I went on all these... Uh, crazy aggressive pushes all right here goes the musketeers let's play these again he's probably just gonna log and fireball once more logs gonna go down that should take out the tower or at least be close okay so that'll be tower number one now how do we want to deal with this how do we want to go for the game winning push we've got the knight we've got these minions oh 
that was not a positive elixir trade, guys. We uh, we just took massive, massive damage right there. And this game has just gotten a lot more interesting in the course of the last couple of seconds. Okay, let's get ready. Three musketeers. Let's drop them right now. Actually, I really wish I dropped those in the center. Let's drop skeletons. Let's drop our log to knock everything he's got out right here. That's going to be so good for us. He's actually going to miss that fireball on everything that he loves and holds accountable. And since he just played that fireball, doesn't it mean we can play the minion horde? I think that means we can play the minion horde, guys. Minion horde's going to go down. Skeletons are going down. He's cycling to his fireball as fast as he can because uh, he knows that he has to play it. Everything's going down. The minions are still going to break that tower down, and this should be the end of the game. Good game against Mad King 27, and uh, that was honestly a pretty good fight right there. I didn't think he would be able to hold up, but that's two crowns to one, a silver chest, and 28 gold. Very nice, and you know what? I'm just going to pop open this silver chest right here and keep on playing throughout the day. Guys, that's going to do it for this deck. This deck is really fun. If you want to try it out, it's got the Elixir Collector and Three Musketeers. Really fun and a nice little cycle deck if you guys want to try it out with all these small little cards. Let me know what you guys think of the deck in the comment section below. Do you think it's strong? Do you think it's weak? I've played against it a lot of times and I've had people knock me out, uh, especially with that Royal Giant deck I was playing. This one actually worked really well against it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. That's going to do it for this video. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.